Welcome to our impromptu, Mo Feeling Spontaneous Live. <laughs> We're just going to be, you know, talking about Chantakai and such. Let me open my chat. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. How is everyone? Are we ready for the holiday? Do you know what's it? Excuse me. Let's see. Okay. My chat is loading so slow. I'm so, so oh, there it is, just like that. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Benice. GG Blue Living Beauty. I like that name. Let me let me put you up here. Hello, beautiful. Dawn, hello. Z, hi. Hello, everyone. Pam, hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Okay, let me make sure I'm all caught up. I know right here. You guys, can you believe it? Like, what? <laughs> last week, last week's live, wasn't I just saying that? I was like, it's going to be Thanksgiving. And poof, like that, here we are. But with that said, right, come all these great sales. Hint, hint. Shantakai sale. So they did do a sale right before this one that was more so dedicated to their what they call VIPs. And that's just uh, abbreviation for they're very important persons. I believe that's what it stands for. <laughs> so I hope I'm right. Um, and that is when you sign up for their newsletters, you get, you know, first dibs on things. And they did that, but now they have another sale going for Cyber Week, I believe, from November 24th all the way to the 30th. So what I figured we could do, other than hang out and talk, <laughs> is I'd like to share some of the Shantakai products that I use most frequently, and with that including skincare, some little accessories, and makeup, of course. Let me check the chat. <laughs> hey. I need to find... Oh, hold on. What is this saying? I am not sure about that one. Yes, please, and thank you. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello to everyone entering. Thank you guys so much for coming. Okay, so where was I? I was saying, yes, Shantakai right now. Uh, November 24th until November 30th, they're doing 25% off. I will have the code and a link listed down below for you. To be completely honest, transparent as this is and always should be, if you choose to use and shop through my link, I do receive a small commission. Thank you kindly in advance. You guys know it comes right back to support the channel. Okay, so quick question. What do we want to start with? Do we want to start with the skincare? And I will say I have the least of that, so that might go a little quick. Um, or do we want to start with makeup? Oh, and also I will have a little haul. Very little, very little. <laughs> so you guys comment and let me know what you guys want to start off with. Do we want to start off with um, skincare or makeup? And yes, I see this. I will do this. I will be doing that comparison because I do have both. And yes, I have to share that with you. So yes, let me know skincare, skincare. Okay, I can do that. Make, <laughs> makeup. <laughs> All right, just because I saw skincare, you know, we'll do skincare first. And when it comes to Shantakai skincare, it's very gentle. It's very effective, and I personally have been using the product that I'm going to share with you the most, and I've dedicated to them, so it's either morning and night, or it's morning, so I'm really constantly using these products. And I'm gonna start off with the Rice and Geranium Foaming 
cleanser. Okay, this is a very gentle cleanser. And this is also a cleanser that you want to use literally, literally a pea size. I'm sure plenty of cleansers would be like, oh, just use a little bit. You don't, this seriously, you need the smallest amount. So this, which is a 2.46 ounce container, you're going to use, you're, you're, you're gonna have this for a while is what I'm trying to say. It is a great cleanser. It has a little bit, very gentle exfoliants in it from the rice ingredient. Let me just pull up on the website just because I want to make sure I'm giving you the most accurate information. Cleansers, where are you? Here we go. And let's see. Come on, internet. Yes, yes, it really is really good. I like the fact that it foams so much, but yet it's still very gentle. It's a really good balance, to say the least. And it is described as a gentle, foaming, exfoliating cleanser. That is exactly what it is, exactly. Uh, Gigi, okay. Personally, the Tatcha, I use, I've used plenty of Tatcha. There are still some products that I use from Tatcha to this day. Um, the Tatcha for me, it broke me out. And I had to stop using it because what I did was I got a little deluxe sample from Sephora. So there's something, there's something in the Tatcha that my skin maybe didn't like. I'm not sure I couldn't pinpoint it. But as far as like texture, it it was pretty similar, but I just couldn't continue using the Tatcha because of the fact that it broke me out when I used it. And I knew that it was it was the Tatcha because that was the only thing that I was using that was new. Um, but yeah, I think that this is a great cleanser and I've been using it quite consistently ever since. And it leaves your skin ve feeling very clean. I will say don't overdo it because it can slightly make you feel a little tiny bit dry because it is quite effective at removing makeup, removing sunscreen. It is really good. I like it. You're welcome, Gigi. Tatcha's really good. There's a lot of products. Let me pull this up. Tatcha really is really great. I do use a lot of products from them, but I do find just a few, a small few that just don't let me be great. But Tatcha is, is a good, 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 uh, good line. So next I have a serum type product. This is their blue light protection hyaluronic serum. Now this is something, this comes with a pump. This is a product that's gonna give you lots of moisture because of the hyaluronic acid. And it's got that blue light protection. Please do your research on what blue light can do to your skin. And this was actually recommended to me by Grace from Everyday Edit, because she's really been dabbling into the skincare a lot more and she has used a lot more products. So I went and I asked her, I was like, hey, can you recommend a serum for me? And she gave me a few, but this is the one I decided to purchase. And it is very lightweight. It is very nourishing and hydrating. And your skin feels very plump and supple and just nourished. And it's very, like, I, did I say it was lightweight? Yes, it's very lightweight. There's no scent. Um, and again, Tatcha, Tatcha, Lord. Chantakai ingredients are fantastic. <laughs> Really, really, really good stuff. Um, is there anything I missed on this? Let me just pull it up on the website because I definitely want to make sure I'm giving you the most accurate information. Serums, where are you? Yes, John, it's really good. You will like it a lot. Um, hyaluronic, hydrating hyaluronic serum, gentle for all skin types. Completely agree with that. Okay. This next one is not going to be a surprise because you probably see it in every video. See it in the description of every video. But it's just that good. It really is. It is the Radiance Elixir. 
wow. Wow, 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 wow. Here's my thing with this. <laughs> it is, I have combination skin. I am 35 going on 36. And my concerns are the fact I have some dryness and I'm oily in my T-zone. But this Radiance Elixir, it's not over the top when it comes to adding that glow to the skin, that natural glow. Now, yes, you can mix this with your foundations and wear it all alone just to have a nice, healthy glow. But there are also good benefits to it as well. Let me be very specific so that I don't miss out on anything. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I want to just get to it. Okay. It has colorless carotenoids. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, they are refining lipopeptides to reduce visible redness, plump the look of your fine lines. So I have definitely found that my skin looks very hydrated, but not greasy. It's a beautiful balance. I have been using this a ton. I have so many videos using it. If you want like a true, what does it look like kind of a uh, gig. Hang on a second. I don't want to be not talking to you guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're starting to get into that a little bit here and there um, with some products. And because of me, I'm always on a we're, your phone, TV, you, we're all in front of uh, computers. You know, we can't escape them. <laughs> so it's nice to have just a little bit extra protection, a little bit of an extra layer on the skin just to help with that. So I like that skincare products are getting into that. So that's really nice. Oh, uh, what was the other one? What was the other one? Yes. Yes. How is that for oily skin? Now I get pretty oily in my T-zone and I have been mixing this with my foundations. And like I said, it doesn't give you that super wet, glowy radiance. It's a very soft and natural. I haven't really had any issues with it overdoing things. I find it to be very soft and natural and good for our type of oily skin. Okay. Is this the one? Yes. Yes, it is. And I did mix it today with the Future Skin. It's really nice. Let me show it to you. So this one, it comes with the dropper. And this is a glass bottle. So just an FYI. I am just going to do... So that is what it looks like. So see, it's not gonna give you anything crazy. It's very natural. Hope you can see it. And once it dries down, it dries down in such a nice, healthy glow, healthy skin. Looks like you drank water, like you're supposed to. <laughs> but yes, this is the one that they say you can mix in with your foundations. Okay, where are we, where are we, where are we? Make sure I'm catching up on the chat. Hey, everyone coming in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, continuing. This is a game changer. And according to Vicky J, this is the Rolls Royce of makeup removing balms. This is the Rose de Mai cleansing balm. This beauty. Oh my gosh. And you guys, you don't believe that it's that good. It's that good. Okay. This is amazing. It has totally changed the way and what I expect from a makeup remover in this format. It is just out of this world. Speaking of... <laughs> I literally just said how you were calling the cleansing balm the Rolls Royce of cleansing bombs because girl, yes, 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 yes. And thank you so much for coming, Vicky J. Okay. So, and you're literally at it. Yes. She'll have that up soon. You know, she comes through. Okay. Now, what I, what I, I think what I am personally going crazy over with the Rosamite <laughs> cleansing balm is the fact that it is like no other. It's 
like a moisturizer. It's creamy. It's not going to tug on your skin. It's gentle on the eyes as well. Can't tell you how many times I go in with a cleansing balm and it burns my eyes. How can you make a cleansing balm to remove makeup and it burns your eyes? You don't think we're going to put it on the eyes to remove? Hello? This doesn't do that. It is effective. Okay. It is very soft and it's nourishing almost because when you're rinsed it off, your skin is not stripped or dry. It feels fantastic, amazing. Oh my gosh. I have one complaint and it's very, very, very small. <laughs> I wish that they gave you a little spatula because I personally hate with a product like this, I would hate to go in with my hand. Thankfully, I have a ton of these. You can get these on Amazon. You can get them in Target. The little spatulas, you can get them from another skincare product. But I do wish that Shantakai would have included a little spatula with this. But it's great. And I use a Muslim cloth from Yves Lom to remove it. I just make it nice and warm. And if you want to see how I use pretty much all of the skincare products, I have a dedicated video. And I actually have a Shantakai playlist. So don't be shy, you can check it out. I highly recommend it. <laughs> okay. Just like that. <laughs> yes. Hey, with the sale, it you know, you never know what'll happen. Mm hmm Yes, absolutely. I never throw away my spatulas. You sanitize them and you keep them for other products. You just get new ones. They're great. They're helpful. Yay. I definitely want to hear when you try some stuff, makeup, skincare, let me know what you think because I, I feel very confident recommending this brand to you guys and I need to know. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. You have to, because sometimes you don't get a spatula or whatever the case may be. And it's good to use. They're really good to use for your skincare. So you don't have to be sticking your hand in there. <laughs> I think it's worth a shot. I do. I think it's worth a try. Ma, I have used the pharmacy one. And here's what I find with the pharmacy one. And I'm not going to like talk bad about it because it's not bad per se. It's just Personally, I found that with the pharmacy, I had just a little bit of a film, just a very light film on my skin when I was done with it. And it's a little harder to maneuver. Not, you know, it's like, it's like a bomb. You got to dig into it. But that's the big difference between the pharmacy and the Shantakai. I feel like it's definitely very different. And I don't dare try to compare them because that just, it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't. <laughs> but I think it's worth a try. Okay. Um, thank you for doing a dedicated Chantakai video, which is your favorite. Uh, we will get to that. We shall, we shall. I'm almost done with skincare, I promise. I have one more product. Uh, <laughs> Pam is in the building. Yes, hello, darling. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. Oh, da -da. The one in the Kisu lip balm is my absolute favorite. It's like a little golden spoon. Oh, yes. Okay. Last skincare product. The, the rose water. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I genuinely love this stuff. And I had a friend for years, literally years, raving about this, telling me I need to try it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I would use all the sprays that weren't this. And then I finally tried it. Changes everything. This is, it's skincare, it's for makeup, it's for prepping. It's so multifunctional. And I too now put this on the nightstand. I, I, I need this before I go to bed. It's just... It's, it's got a little bit of the, it's, it's very natural. They use all natural roses from France. 
I mean, it's the best. This is the best of the best. Let's just put it that way. But then again, that's Shantakai, period. <laughs> um, but my goodness, it's got a little spray top. This is a glass bottle. She's bougie. She's amazing. I have used this in the place of a toner after I go in with that cleanser, patting it into the face. It feels amazing. It hydrates. It refreshes before bed when you wake up. I literally need it all the time. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my gosh. Um, let me see if I have any particulars that we need to mention about it really quick. I'm pulling it up on the website because again, I definitely want to make sure that I'm giving you the most accurate information. <laughs> Did I miss something? Do you have a good eye moisturizer or do you just use serums and moisturizers? Um, I currently have, hang on a second, let me pull up the rose water. I use a eye cream, but I don't, I don't, sometimes eye creams, it's a little back and forth for me because I will say, oh, I don't need it. And I'll just use my moisturizers and my serums. Whatever is left, I will pat into my under eye. But the particular eye cream that I use, it's not Chantikai. And only because I had this prior to, you know, the whole Chantikai extravaganza and really almost converting <laughs> um, is the Sicily. This one has the little applicator, which is a sensory hole kind of gig. I do talk about this in my Sicily video, so I will stop there. But in answer to your question, that is the eye cream that I personally really enjoy. That's right. <laughs> mm. Yes, I love them as well. Facial sprays, they're, they're, they're almost therapeutic, almost, because they have a light little scent. And this is something that you're not gonna get you're not gonna get that artificial. It's very soft, very natural. <laughs> okay, so we are finished with skincare. Woo let me move everything out the way so that I can really get into it, okay. All right. And then, yes, I have a very small, very small little haul that I want to share with you as well because it's just, it never stops. I have to share this with you. They sent me this little clutch. This is a limited edition. It's called the Le Gold Clutch. You guys, oh my God, you can put it under the cook of your arm. Who am I? Hello, darling, I have arrived. Oh my God. It is so nice. So you open her up. It's kind of, you know, listen, it's a clutch. You're going to put what you need in it and that's it. And you know what? My phone fits in there quite nicely. I'll tell you. See? My phone's in there. Put my phone, put my ID. I had to share this with you. It is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, trying a little fun color for the season. Thank you. I am here and I have arrived. That is my style. Absolutely. <laughs> it really is. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this is still available on their website if you, you know, you're in the mood, you know. Okay, where shall we begin? Should we start with, I will, okay, I'm gonna go in order that I kind of just have here. Okay, starting off with Future Skin. This is an oil-free gel foundation. Show you, that's the consistency of it. I have been using her. That is what I have on today, along with all other Shantikai products. 
but this is what she looks like. And this also is another product that I wish that they would have included a spatula with. Um, I use the shade Banana, and it's a fairly good match for me. I like how it's so lightweight. It literally feels like water. Like you just put a little veil of moisture on your skin, but not in a way that's going to cause you to be oily. As the name suggests, it is an oil-free gel foundation. I have not tried their, the one in the tube, the other one, I forget the name, I'm sorry. Um, but they say that that other one has a little more coverage than this, but personally, this is a really good everyday foundation type product. I like it, I do. Gives you a nice refreshed feeling. It's very natural, it looks like skin. It wears really good. So this is one that I use, one of my own little spatulas. And use your fingers, use your brush, use your sponge. Today I blended her in with a sponge. And she works really nice. Yes, skin tint. Thank you guys. I'm so sorry. For, because I guess because I don't have it, I forgot the name. But yes, the skin tint. Um, so yeah. And um, they do have a new foundation coming. Uh, the Cushion and 20 January 2021 and let's see let's see let's see okay let's see uh, it's really good it is and yes it's good to buy your spatulas and just have them because it's not every time we get one so but yes i agree especially for every day it's so effortless and easy and it's really nice I want to try it too. <laughs> it is. I know you love it. Okay. Next, this one is going to be like no surprise. <laughs> I love this so much and so much that it's completely empty. This is where, if there was any more product left, you would see it. But this is the Le Camouflage Le Camouflage Low. This is more of a skincare hybrid makeup type of product. And I think that's why I love it so much. So it comes with a brush applicator. This is what I have today. I usually just blend it with the finger. It is pairs so well with the future skin. It's that natural vibe. Doesn't look like you have on a whole lot of makeup, but it gives, I want to say, light to light medium. Now, hence, light medium. Nothing crazy. This is a true everyday type of product that's got that whole skincare kind of vibe to it. It's an anti fatigue correction pen. That is the proper description of this product. And I, this is probably the most repurchased product for me when it comes to Shantikai. And it's that good. You can blend it with your finger, with the brush, with a sponge. It is fantastic. So good. Oh, the cushion is out. I heard that it was, but it didn't have the full shade range. I think that the full shade range will come in January. But I do, yes, you're right. It is out, but just not all the shades. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I will take full credit. I, Monique, <laughs> take full credit for putting you onto this new addiction, especially with this concealer. I told her, I said, girl, don't ask me too many questions about it. Just get it. And then we will go from there. <laughs> it is so good. All right. Um, I kind of want to touch on the products that I've used the most first. And then I have a few that are newer to me. But I'm going to talk about these two products really quickly. Yes. Yes, Vicky J. The deeper ones are coming in. And yes, that's what Angela did say. Angela from Shantikai. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we are going to talk about the mascara. Okay, I, like many of us and many of you, I mean, guys, I was quite skeptical about this uh, 
mascara because it's pricey. Number one, which is, you know, fine. I get it. I'm, I'm all for investing in good products. I'm all for it. We're not going that direction. But the whole, oh, it'll let your lashes this and it's got this peptides and this. I'm like, okay, if you say so. I wasn't even paying attention. I started using this. I want to say maybe two to three weeks in, and this is consistent use, okay? Because even when there's not much going on, I go in with a little concealer, some mascara, and a little powder, and that's it. You know, just a little something, you know, zhuzh it up a little. My daughter, she came to me, and she was just staring at me as random preteens do. <laughs> and she goes, Mommy, your lashes. And then I started looking at them and I said, wow, I find my lashes to be fuller. They're like longer. I feel like I have more lashes than I had before. They're peptides in here. This is a fantastic mascara. I all, Overall, when you're using it, you can just sit there and just keep coating it on. That is what I am wearing today. It, it's it performs well. There's no flaking. There's no smudging. I am a daily contact wearer and I have had no issues with this product. It performs beautifully. It does what it says. I haven't had any issues with that. It separates, it lifts. I don't have to curl my lashes. Um, my lashes on their own kind of, they're, they're just there. There's nothing special about them, <laughs> but this is I'm going to go out on the limb here, guys. And if you get nothing, if you get nothing from this sale, nothing else, get this, get this, it just, just get it. There's a reason this is like a award winner. Everybody raves about it. I was, I didn't, I didn't believe it at first. And it's not that I don't love my other mascaras. Just knowing that this has those benefits to it, it it's it's pretty awesome. So let me just show you the wand. That's what it looks like. And it coats beautifully. It works well on the lower lash line. And again, no smudging, no flaking. It performs beautifully. Yes. I have no lashes. <laughs> I'm so serious. If you guys buy nothing else from this sale, get the mascara. Serious business. Yay! Thank you so much, Rufy. I know you did some damage. <laughs> it's very easy to fall into that trap. I try my best to rotate and make sure that I use them up within a three month time span because your eyes are delicate, they're sensitive, and you don't want to kind of play around with that, but it's good stuff. Very good stuff. Okay, this is the Full Brow Perfecting Gel. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. Another product that I was just, I was over it. I was like, what, what do you mean? It's gonna make my eyebrows grow. It too has the peptides and I am, a, you know, I grew up in a time period where I wanted Drew Barrymore eyebrows. There were pencils, you know, and I overplucked in high school. And ever since I started using this, my, la my, my lashes, <laughs> my eyebrows have been growing back. I use it all the time, even on days when I don't wear makeup. It's not one of those eyebrow gels that are going to leave your brows very crusty <laughs> and super stiff, but it has been doing me well. So this is what the little brush looks like. And you are getting a product that is going to benefit along with being makeup and really good stuff. And these are, are things I have been using quite a bit. Oh, oh my gosh. What am I missing? <laughs> you do, you do. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It does what it says it needs to do. It's going to hold the brows in place. And, you know, let's say you finish your makeup and you've got powder everywhere. You take that, run it through your brows. It's going to like, you know, zhuzh them back up and get rid of the powder. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
that 30% was amazing. And again, guys, make sure you sign up to the Shantakai newsletter. You will be amazed at the little sneak peeks that you get and just do it. Okay, now, 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 let's move on to the bronzers. I have both. And if you can see, one is darker and one is lighter. So this is for Goa, which is the darker. And this is for Serena, which is the lighter. So let me compare them for you. Now, these are the Vic Gelée formula. Here they are side by side. Serena is the lighter. Goa is darker. I find Goa to be a little more red and Serena to be more just warm toned. Now I am wearing Serena. I like Serena for my everyday and go kind of bronzer. And then for Goa, because it is darker, I go to her for when I want to be super snatched and I want to really bring it. So yeah. So let me swatch them for you. So that is Goa. And then here's Serena. Okay, so Goa. Let me make sure. Goa and Serena. So as you can see, Goa, it's a lot more red toned and it's darker. And then Serena is more warmed tone. And this I prefer, the Serena I prefer as my everyday, just when I want a little color on the face. They are such a beautiful formula. I needed both. <laughs> you know, I need, you know, you need things for certain things, you know. <laughs> but here they are, side by side. Goa, Serena. They both work well for me. Yes, they both work very well for me. I, I really like them both. They have a beautiful formula. They blend into the skin so beautifully. I personally use a Wayne Goss number 11. It's dense, but also fluffy. So it gives a nice deposit while also not making things harsh. Very easy to blend. Thank you so much. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, Vinny, yep, yeah. I would personally say for your skin tone, the Goa is gonna be really dark. I would highly suggest you go with Serena. You could use Goa if you prefer that undertone, that more red undertone, and just go in very lightly. And you could, you could definitely use it that way. That's all year. <laughs> yes, the formula is very much that. It is that big gelée. So it is a nice, really, really nice formula. This is another product that I feel that, you know, you need. You definitely need. It's a staple, you know. So beautiful. Again, Goa and Serena. Totally different undertones. One's lighter, one's darker. Both really beautiful, and they both work really great for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. If Goa was too dark for you, Serena is going to work beautifully because, you know, yeah. Yes. Mm hmm. Why not? Exactly. I'm totally with you on that. Okay. I can show my AirPods are being having. All right, guys, I have to share with you the, they call it the hummingbird powder, but it's technically the blurring powder. They are going to come back with this in normal packaging and it's going to be permanent. I don't have a date for you, but I have constantly, because as you know, Shantakai has been working with a lot of 
of the ladies here. And they have talked about the fact that they are going to bring this back. It is going to be permanent. And it's, I believe they're going to do other shades. But I have found, I have found this to work quite well for me. Let's say I went a little overboard with everything. And I just want to finish everything up and just be smooth and blurred. This is going to solve all your problems. <laughs> It is. And I know it looks light, but it does blend into the skin very, very beautifully. So again, this is the, they call it the hummingbird powder, but it's called the perfect blur finishing powder. Sorry, my products aren't pristine and perfect, but you guys know the story. I use all my stuff <laughs> so that I can, excuse me, so that I can give you the best recommendations because I've truly put them to the test. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait a minute. Do I dare? Do I dare? Do I dare? Do I dare? Hang on a second. Oh, do I dare? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> this is my Gucci. I am number four in the Gucci. Here is what she looks like. Okay, let me see. Which one is she? I feel like she's closer to Serena. But the Gucci is very red. Well, is it? Okay, so here's Serena next to Gucci. You see how Gucci, Gucci is very red compared to Serena. And then beside Goa. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Trying to get everything open. Okay. Here is Goa beside Gucci. But the true test is going to be if we swatch, right? <laughs> Hold on, did I? I know say nothing. <laughs> Let me just swatch the Gucci. <laughs> so here is the Gucci. And again, I am shade number four. Totally different undertone. The Gucci also has a little... Not sparkle, but more like of a satin finish to her. So we have Goa, Serena, and Gucci number four. Very different. Very different. <laughs> yes, I can agree. I, yes. Yes, Gucci would totally be right in between here if you were going in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. So again, Goa, Serena, and Gucci number four. Yay. Okay. I personally love the formula on the Shantakai bronzers. They are just like, oh, wow. <laughs> and I too had heard everyone raving a while about it. And I was like, eh, it's okay. I'll get it. I have bronzes. I don't need it. Yeah, right. Are you kidding? Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to eyeshadows. Serena's beautiful. It really is. I love that as my everyday. Or like today, I didn't want to go too crazy, too snatched, just soft. Mm. I haven't tried any of their creams in the little tubes, but I've heard they're good. I've heard. Okay, here's the thing. Stop it. This is a Shanta Kai video. <laughs> I do have my top five. Sicily is still up there. Okay. But because I want to rotate things and because the Sicily has more of a sheen glowing finish to it, I, you know, time and place. Time and place. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Keep asking until I answer. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? 
No, <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am so excited for that. Like, yes, I can make this work and it does a great job, but I want everyone, everyone to be able to experience this stuff. I'm number one. <laughs> no, I'm not answering. <laughs> okay, guys, I already did a bronzer video, but we're going to do an updated one. So then I will give you the answer. Okay, let's move on to some eyeshadows. The luminescent eyeshadows I have currently on my eyes. Do we have any guesses what I have on my eyes of the three? Oh. I have Crane. Oh my goodness. I too just did a dedicated video to a lot of Shantakai products. Another one for the holiday. I figured, you know, let's do a little holiday look. So I did do a video on that. Um, and I did use the Crane and zebra but these are the newest uh, luminescent eye shades this one is crane and really quickly these do support endangered species and that's another great thing about chantakai is they are dedicated to helping animals in so many ways almost every product is going to give back in some way now if you want you know breakdowns and details on percentages and how much Definitely contact Shantakai. They are completely open and transparent with that. But it's not, I don't know off the top of my head. Let's just put it that way. We have asked. They have answered. It's not a secret. So if you're really interested in like those type of details, because like products like this, Hummingbird, you know, other products that I'm going to get into that give back to organizations, they will totally answer your questions with that. But here is the crane, and that is what I have on my eyes. Let me give you a little swatchy swatch. Ooh. Now, again, these are luminescent eye shades, and this shade in particular, it's a purple. It's got little pink iridescent shifts to it, little micro glitters in there. Very beautiful. That's what we've got on the old eyes. And then we have the other new one, which is Zebra. Zebra. I have Zebra on the inner portion, but then I have another one that I'm going to share with you in just a second. But this is Zebra. This is a rose gold she's described as. Ooh, so pretty. I do have swatches on my Instagram for you if you want to see. And also in that video, again, I have a whole entire Shantakai playlist. So if you really want to get into it. Okay. And the other one is the Rhino. Can you see that? And these have the little pull and there is a mirror. So you can totally take this. I, if I'm just, you know, doing one little one, one and done, these are perfect for that. I use the mirror, it's very good, very effective. And let me swatch Rhino for you. This one is like an olive green. So beautiful. These three are a look, absolutely. Put a little bit of this on the outer eye, this on the lid, this on the inner, or you know, however you feel, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Yes, Pam, indeed. It's really pretty. They're so beautiful. And I'll tell you, although they are an iridescent, it's not anything over the top. It's just so pretty, very sophisticated, very grown woman, like, hey, hello. You know what I mean? So beautiful. Out of this world. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
is a zebra okay to wear by itself or is it more of a topper highlight? Now, I, in my holiday look that I created with this, I had it all over the lid. It is so beautiful. It's nicely pigmented. I mean, you could definitely take a brush that is not as dense and more so give yourself a wash uh, over the lid. But if you want a impactful color, you are going to get it. The pigmentation is there when it comes to zebra. I have three of those eyeshadows in my cart and it's the same one. Yes. Aren't they beautiful? Yes. Yes. Agreed. Absolutely. We are coming up to blushes. Yes. Because I have a few. Okay. Okay. Let me get to it. <laughs> okay. Um, I already did a full dedicated video to these. I mean, literally, there's five of them. Every single one of them, all five, I did two looks with on my eyes, swatches, everything, full nitty gritty details. And I am talking about the Le Chrome Lux Eye Duos, these beauties right here. I have a full dedicated video, so I won't uh, too much get into them because of the fact that I already have that dedicated video, so I'll spare you. <laughs> but if you really want to um, know more about them, I have that video. It's on my Shantakai playlist. But these are the Le Chrome Lux Eye Duos. And look at the packaging. This is glittered out. It is so beautiful. Now, they come with those little applicators. This one is in Monte Carlo. I'm actually using Monte Carlo, this shade, as my highlight today. Listen, I like to use my stuff any which way I can. But... These, I really honestly think that they don't get as much love as they deserve. They really don't. Hello, Pauline. Thank you so much for coming. Pauline is awesome, guys. I think you already know that, but you know. <laughs> but again, this is Monte Carlo. Nice and close so you can see. It's a pink with a chromish brown kind of shade. Again, it's what I'm wearing is highlight. And I do, again, have dedicated videos to like every single one of these, you guys, if you really want to see how everything performs. But I highly recommend these. They don't get as much love as they should. They're just, they're so beautiful. So beautiful. They did a great job on this. And the other one that I'm wearing tonight on my inner portion, and I kind of brought it up just a little bit is this one let me take these little thingies out this is a piazza san marco i have the lighter shade oh my goodness they're so beautiful the formula is fantastic they you can go in with a less dense brush and just put a nice little wash you can go in with a dense brush and get that impact don't think just because it's a duo, oh, what am I going to do with that? No, you can do so much with it. They perform beautifully. Shantakai did an amazing job with this. It's an amazing formula. And you have to check out that video because I did a lot of work. All five of them, I literally swatched for you and created two different looks with. But again, this one was Piazza San Marco. And I will quickly show you the others. This is Grand Canal. This one has a little bit of a green gold shift to it. And then we've got, ooh, I want to go here one day, Tibet. Mm, so beautiful. And the last one is... This is probably everyone's favorite. I think this is the one that everyone talks about the most. It's so beautiful. It's Kenya. Isn't Kenya beautiful? Kenya pairs well with, is it zebra? Yeah. No, it's crane. I'm so sorry. Kenya pairs so well. And I did quickly compare them in my Shantakai holiday glam video. Okay. Let's go on to blushes. 
all. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I really, truly appreciate each and every one of you taking time to kind of just hang out with me today. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I I really enjoyed creating that video and it was, yeah, it was a lot of work and my eyes were, you know, they did okay. <laughs> my eyes were like, oh, but I, I had a good time making that video. <laughs> Kenya is so beautiful. Absolutely. Okay. Let's go on to blushes. Now, it all started with this particular blush, and then I went on and made my own blush palette. These are what they call the cheek shades. This one in particular is in the shades Laughter, and she is described as a coral. Now, I am a Floridian, and this goes to support the coral reefs here. This is also the one that I'm wearing today on the cheeks. Whoa. It is a beautiful coral. It's a true coral. Tibet really is beautiful. <laughs> the work you put in your videos really shows, Mo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey. Good evening, darling. Yes, I don't I don't have that one. I'm I want it though. I want them all. But I have three of them. So the first one is coral, and that is the one I'm wearing today. Let me give you a swatch. And it used to have a little coral on her, but you know, she gets used, she gets loved. So you know, it happens. So and, you know, I I'm gonna swatch it, but you know, don't truly judge by the swatch because blushes are intended to be blended into the skin, but that is what coral looks like. And I like to just kind of use a Wayne Goss number 14 to add just a little flush of color on the cheeks, but they definitely build up. They have really nice pigmentation. And when it comes to staying power, because Personally, I find blushes to, <laughs> they usually go first. These do pretty well. They last pretty well. And when they do fade, it's a soft fade. You're not, nothing crazy. It doesn't get patchy or anything like that. They wear so well. Okay. Now, here is the palette that I created. Oh, let me try to hold it like that for you. It says Chantecaille across the top. And on the back, it has the three, oh, sorry. On the back, it has the three holes. And yes, there is an overspray. There is an overspray on these. And sadly, once it's gone, you're like, wait. But they are so beautiful. I'm sorry if I'm missing comments, guys. So glad I caught the live. Oh my God. Yes, you're gonna have lots of fun. Happy shopping. The blushes were the first Shanta, Shanta, Shanta Kai product I bought a couple of years ago. Ooh, I have the horse too. That's one of my favorites as well. Let me show you. These are the other two. And I, you know, I have a spot for one more. So coming soon once I can get my hands on it. But I have the horse. And I don't know, you can kind of see what's left of the overspray. And this one is the elephant. It's yeah, there's a little, no, I don't, I think I killed the overspray on that one. <laughs> but let me swatch the horse and the elephant. Almost dropped it. Oh my God. Give me a heart attack in here, guys. So here is horse. And then let me put my bracelet down. And then here is... Uh, horse and elephant. Let me, I'm having a swatch fail. I'm sorry. Okay, so coral, the horse, and elephant. I know they look super light. That's the thing with blushes. When swatching them, it's like, ee. but just on the face, they do give a very soft flush of color and they do perform quite well. 
Oh, you wore Joey today. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> I agree. It's like, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> the orange spray got you, huh? <laughs> okay, so that was blushes. We're going to go into lip products and then I'll show you a quick haul and then I'll get you guys. We're done. Okay, but again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hang on a second. What are you saying? I saw a butterfly blush. I just have to get it. Yes, the butterfly is so pretty. There's also one with a B. Oh, I want them all. Did they change the name of the elephant from fun to smitten? Actually, I think so. Because when I got the elephant, it says smitten on it. So, yeah, I don't know if they changed it or maybe it was just, I don't know. Hello, Brian. I'm with family in the middle of nowhere. Oh, my gosh. Be safe. Thank you so much for coming. Truly appreciate you. Okay. Lip products. Now, oh wait, I have eyeliners to show you really, really quick. Really, really quick. <laughs> I have, I have two eyeliners, one liquid liner and one lip liner. I recommend them all. I do. The only one that I'm a little about and, you know, I'm not here to bash, but I'm being completely honest with you. You know, I take much pride in recommending products because you guys are taking your hard-earned money and buying these things. So when it comes to the eyeliners and lip liner, I love them. They perform so well. Today, I am wearing the Olive Brigade, which is a green, in my waterline. Super creamy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Check that out. What? Super creamy. Great staying power. Love it. And then I, at the time, was like, oh, let me just get something that'll just open up my eyes. So I picked up the Brightening Eye Cajal. It's a, it's a nude. Also very creamy. Good staying power. That's that one. And when you use a light nude tone, flesh tone color in your waterline, you're going to get that more open eyed effect versus if you use something dark. Now the lip liner, this is the only lip liner that I have from them, but I'm ready for more. <laughs> this one is in the shade tone. It's a your lips but better kind of color. I wanted to start with something realistic that I know I would use. So that is what tone swatches like. Yes, they do glide so lovely. Yes, they're really, really good. Now, here is the Le Stilo Ultra Slim. This is their one of, I know they have another one in like in an actual pot that you would pull out and it's more liquidy. This is the one that has the little tip. It's not my favorite, but it does the job. I'm just gonna say, just gonna say that and that's it. <laughs> But I will swatch her for you. Because, I mean, look, it has a nice tip. It's, you know, a typical liner product. That's what she looks like, you know. Okay. Now we can do some lips. Let's start off with the really fun ones. These are for the holiday parties. Okay. Well, let me turn it so you guys can see the name because they're so pretty. And these are called the lip crystals. I did swatch all three of them on the lips on my Instagram all over. If you really want to see how they look and, and such, but I will also give you quick swatches. These are as they sound, they have little crystals in them. I have used them. So sorry, they're not perfect. I think if you were to compare them, they're comparable to the Tom Ford, the Gucci, the Holiday. It's fun. And I will say you're not getting any grit from the glitters. 
from these. This one is the Red Tone Carnelian. If I say that right, I'm sorry if I didn't. That one. And the sparkle isn't overpowering. And I think that um, one, one of them is more so like an iridescent on the lips. I think it's this one, Rose Quartz. This, is this my favorite? I like them all, <laughs> but this is Rose Quartz. Look at that, oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. Let me show her to you. This one has a little more sparkle to her. You see the sparkle? And Venice, yes I do, darling. It's the one that has spoiled me rotten to the core is a Tom Ford <laughs> eyedefiner pen. It's got two ends. It's amazing. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> okay. And then the last one is Rubelite. This is one is the pink iridescent. They're like a metallic glimmer with a sparkle in them. Oh, look at that. There they are. So you can truly see the iridescence, the little sparkles. And again, they don't have that gritty feel that you may get when you use a product that you would think has glitter in it. Like, oh, you're going to feel the grit on your lips. They're very smooth. They wear beautifully. So those are the three colors. A red, a pinky, nudish color, which is the rose quartz and then the pink rubelite. Look, these aren't your everyday lipsticks. These are for the holiday parties. This is for when you're really being your extra most self. <laughs> but they are really, really beautiful. Now, I have the one that I'm wearing today. <laughs> yes. I am wearing the Lip Veil, which is such a nourishing product. It feels like a balm. It feels like just super creamy. This one is in the shade Tamarind. And whenever you see an animal on the packaging, it is to support that particular cause. This one is the Space for Giants, which focuses in with the elephants. So I will just put a little more because I think I talked it off. Now this glides on and it's just so, so beautiful. I could just sit here and go like this. <laughs> mm. The formula on this is so fantastic. There's no scent. It's just creamy, beautiful goodness. You will just, whew, amazing. I'll swatch it for you as well. Let's swatch it right here. Let's get a little crazy with the swatches, yeah? Tamarind. Who knows that fruit? Yeah, that would be considered a fruit, not a vegetable. Tamarind. Tamarindo. That's good. And then I have one of the Lip Tint Hydrating bombs. The ones that come in this little skinny packaging. You've got the C on the top. Again, very nourishing, feel-good type of products. This one is in the shade Calendula. It is like a orangey type of shade. And this is a product that I love because you can slowly build up its pigmentation. You can go in lightly and get a light wash or you can keep applying and it'll build up in color. I do also have a video where I'm using this. This came out in the summer with that manta ray collection, Support the Ocean. So I will show you. Let's go, let's go right here. I will do just one swipe so that you can see. It's just one swipe, but as I build, the color is slightly going to intensify. So I like that. It feels like it's a multifunctional product. It's very nourishing and it's so beautiful. I like it. Good. 
They really are. They're so good. I, I struggled for a long time. I did, but I truly feel the Tom Ford just changed my life in a way that I cannot. I cannot. GG. I love tamarind. Oh my medium tan complexion looks more red, but it's stunning. It is really beautiful. Yeah, I could see how that would look red on you. Yes, it's such a beautiful formula. The best. I I want another color because it's such a nice formula. Very hydrating. Love the formula. Doesn't feel uncomfortable on the lips at all. Yes. I could totally see why you, right? Isn't it beautiful? Let me really show it to you. Look at that. So pretty, right? Everything has a C on it. So if your like name begins with C, you're like, yeah, it's customized. <laughs> Hola, Jika. How are you, Steffi? Okay. I have one more lip product and then we're going to get into the, oh, yes. Okay, we all need a good gloss. Am I right? Here is my gloss from Shantakai. And can you say, I don't, I use it. I love it. This is in the shade Modern. And these are called the Brilliant Glosses. Now, I have to tell you what well, my main love of this is. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. It is very glossy. It's not overly sticky. It's a nice formula. What I love most is the old school applicator, guys. Why are they getting rid of brush applicators? I love this. So good. It's so good. It doesn't have too much pigment in that sense, but this is like a nude shade with very fine little sparkles in it right there. See, it's a little nude shade. So beautiful. I just love the preciseness of a brush applicator. I really do. If you're a gloss girl, you'll love this because you're getting a brush and a beautiful formula. Again, this is the shade Modern. Right there. It's such glossy goodness. Oh, so beautiful. We are almost done, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Appreciate it so much. Okay. Oh. Oh, my God. I forgot. I have, I have really quick. Really quick. I bought a brush from Shantakai. And can we just talk about the bougie-ness? But of course, right? So this is the Buff and Blur brush. Do you see her? She's dense. She packs, she buffs, she blurs. I personally love to use this with a product that's not Shantakai, but um, it's synthetic. It's super soft. Very good construction. This is what she looks like. Oh, it looks backwards. There we go. So pretty. You see? So soft, amazing. And then last product, and then we're getting to the haul. It's not a lot of stuff, promise. They recently sent this over to me to try. This is the HD Perfecting Loose Powder Face Powder. This is in the shade Candlelight. Now this is, this is nice. I'm actually liking it quite a bit. This is a very soft, glowing type of product, and I did use it today. On the website, they say, oh, just use it after your future skin and dust it around and over. But this is what it looks like. And you pull it down. And I don't want to see if you can see. You see how it disperses product? So you literally just buff it into your skin and it's going to just add a light glow. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy or sparkly or weird. It's nice. I have used it to set. Now, if you're oily, I wouldn't suggest you put it in your oily areas. But for me, because I'm more dry on this area of my skin, I love it for there. Agreed. Absolutely. The one thing that kind of has me a little ugh, about this is the brush. Like, I probably could open here and then wash it. 
Um, but to note, if you're very keen on making sure things are clean and sanitary, that is just one thing to note. And that's just me being completely honest, no shade, but listen, just being completely honest. Mm -hmm. Yes, the button. <laughs> I love using it with my Sicily powder before makeup. You know. <laughs> okay, let's get into the haul, guys. Now, I just wanted to save this for the end. <sighs> and say thank you because of your guys' support and just continued love. Shanta Kai sent me some goodies and I have to share them with you. Hmm. So just a few things just of using the little tissue paper. I already kind of opened everything so it would be rather quick. My guys, oh my God. <gasps> Hang on, what, what, what? The powder is super old school, but when you use it for your, yeah. Yeah, I think it's been around for a while. It's not a new powder in any way. It's been there. And I think they have another one as well. More of a matte. Yeah, yeah, I did have some comments where they were not the best, biggest fan of the applicator, which is understandable. And hey, that's okay. And yes, Vicky J also got that powder. This one in the candlelight. And she's saying that it works well for her. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Again, thank you guys so much for your love and support. And thank you, Shantakai, for gifting me these these products so guys they sent me two more oh my god they sent me two more luminescent eye shades i'm gonna die ah so we have oh no lion and why can i zebra oh my god it's my daughter's favorite animal but these oh my gosh so we have look at the lion oh my gosh uh, you guys know I'm a mush. I'm a big mush. I'm a big baby. I cry for everything, but just, okay, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> but here is Lion, another luminescent eye shade. Let me, oh, look. This is beautiful. This is a golden copper shade is what it's described as. Oh my gosh. Vicky J, you have these, don't you? I feel like, don't you have these shades? I feel like you do. I feel like I've seen them. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yes. It's a drama. Oh, I'm talking so much. Okay. Let me, oh, I don't want to punch it. One more look before we ruin the uh, beautiful print. And again, these shades support the wildlife in the organization. And whenever you go on the Shantakai website, they will always give you details on what organizations they support and such. The look, it's so pretty. Oh, okay, we're gonna swatch it. Cool. Okay, let me make sure my finger's clean. Where am I gonna swatch it? We're gonna swatch it on this arm. Let's remove the watch. Okay, we're gonna swoop. And this is this is a golden copper. Oh, I feel that's a really good description of it. Absolutely. Okay, so there's the lion. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the most perfect one and done eyeshadow. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, how beautiful. Oh wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm so grateful, you guys. <sighs> I truly am. So before I forget, whenever you get these, you get a little film, protective plastic over top, and the mirror. And this giraffe is described as a burnished brown. So you know what? Let me hold it side by side before I swatch it beside lion. So here is lion, and then we have giraffe. See, this is an eye look. These two are an eye look, yes. 
Oh, I'm missing comments. I'm sorry. So beautiful, right? So you pretty much completed your collection. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is so pretty. I look at the lion. Are you kidding me? That is a perfect description. A, what did they describe it? A golden copper. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Are we ready to swatch the giraffe? One more quick look, see. Oh, oh my God. It's so pretty. Oh, again, this one is described as a burnished brown. Oh, this is an eye look. This right here is an oh. This is, oh my God. Are you kidding me right now? How beautiful are these? I need the rest of them. I need them all. Vicky J, let's let's complete the collection, yeah? <laughs> They're so beautiful. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. You guys, I was not. <sighs> they sent me this. This is the CBD 300 face and body cream. This thing has been sold out for the longest time. I got a sample of it and I've been patiently just like spinching on my sample. But they send this to me. I oh my god. I don't I'm 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 not a big CBD person. I'm completely aware of what it is and some of the claims, but I'm very interested in how this works as skincare. Because I'm telling you, when I said this in the sample, it was pretty good. Pretty good. So it says that it's the first cream to blend the soothing, calming benefits of broad spectrum CBD, which is uh, cannabis oil, with sophisticated skincare innovation. Nutrient dense balancing CBD is enriched with eggplant stem cell, visibly calms redness. Cannabis sativa stem cell extracts bring even more soothing properties by enhancing the skin's natural moisture. Ooh, targeting visible redness to restore the skin, and it's good for face and body. And it's a ninety-eight point five percent natural. Oh, this is how she comes. Oh, she fancy. Oh my god. Oh, got the little seal. What oh, the light? There we go, it has a little seal. I wanna smell it. <laughs> it smells natural. Doesn't smell like, you know, it smells very natural. I don't wanna open it, but I'll open it for you. Obviously I'm not gonna touch it, but that is what she looks like. Oh, she looks so good. And again, I have tried samples and my skin loved it so much thank you so very very much for coming thank you definitely i think it'll work for that really good okay we always have fun when we go live together <laughs> okay now they sent me another mascara. I already have it, you guys. It is so amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend. Highly recommend. They did send me another one. Thank you so much. It is going to get lots of love. You know this. And then the last bits that they sent me, oh my gosh. I guess they saw that I was out. So they're like, hey girl, we're gonna help you out there. They sent me another Le Chemiflore Silo. They sent two of them. Oh my gosh, you guys know what it looks like. It's this. I literally just ran out and they, they sent over more. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. <sighs> yes. Yes. Um, that's it, guys. That's, that's all my Shantakai. Do you have any quick questions for me? Hello, Angela. Angela is from Shantakai, and Angela is great. Thank you so much for coming, Angela. Um, in the concealer, I wear shade five and eight, but 
this is the one that I'm wearing today is shade eight. That's more so my everyday where I don't want to have too much going on, but more so just kind of hide away when I maybe didn't get enough sleep that night. But again, shade eight is the one I use most often. Shade five is going to be more brightening on me. And um, yes, shade eight is the darkest. But in their other concealer, I know they have darker shades as well. I've never tried them, but yes, this is my favorite. It is. Ah, so grateful for you guys. I'm so grateful for Shantikai for sending me these amazing products. And I'm all swatched out. We had a little swatch party. Yes. So guys, again, the sale is from November 24th to November 30th. It's 25%. I'll have everything listed. And all of the products that we talked about today, I'll link them down below. And again, they are going to have affiliate links. So if you choose to use them, I do get a small commission. And thank you so much in advance. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And let me share all of these great Shantakai products with you. All right. Ah, stay beautiful, everyone. We'll be doing lives, you know, again soon. So have a happy holiday, happy Thanksgiving, and lots of love from me to you. Thank you guys so much. Bye.